Yeah, the big news of me stepping out for a little while. I have every intention uh, of coming back as soon as maybe there's also no guarantees. I don't know what it's like to be a mom and what those feelings are like. Hopefully we get to that point. That's where that's where we're at. So Tony Stewart racing for <laughs> Tony Stewart racing. <laughs> hey there, racing fans. Today we've got a sensational story that set the racing community abuzz. Tony Stewart's unexpected move to the NHRA Top Fuel Series for the 2024 season. But hold on, there's more to this story than just another racing season. Let's jump into the details. The three-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, the legendary Tony Stewart, renowned for his versatility on the track, is gearing up for a brand new challenge. Stewart, along with his wife Leah Prout, started a drag racing team two years ago with Prout as one of the drivers. But here's the twist, Leah Prout, after a stellar year in NHRA, has decided to step away from racing in 2024 to focus on starting a family with Tony Stewart. Yes, you heard it right. Tony Stewart, at 52, is not only taking over his wife's spot in the NHRA Dot Fuel Dragster, but he's also diving headfirst into the high-speed world of drag racing, all while aiming to balance the challenges of starting a family. Talk about juggling priorities. Now, you might be wondering, why this unexpected shift? Well, Leah Prout, despite not being pregnant, has decided to step aside to focus on starting a family. It's a personal decision driven by a desire to shape their future beyond the racetrack. Eight years ago, and we're here to announce that I will be stepping out of the seat in 2024, focusing on starting a family with Tony. And with that, uh, between myself and Neil, this decision did not come overnight about who was going to be that selected driver. And through Tony's, he, he has proven through multiple ways that we'll discuss uh, being a candidate that Neil Strassbaum myself selected to replace me in the top field dragster uh, for TSR uh, with our existing partners for next season. Both Leah Prout and Tony Stewart had expressed their concerns in recent interviews. Prout revealed that the decision to take 2024 off to focus on starting a family was made earlier this year and would not have changed even if she had won the top fuel championship. As this wasn't something that was planned out of the gate and was a five-year plan that's just now getting here. This is something that we're, we're making a U-turn in the road without turning the blinker on in front of everybody. And it's a great opportunity for me, obviously, but, um, yeah, and that's on the driver's side, but, you know, from the husband's side, uh, I'm super proud of how strong a person my wife is to think about for all of us guys we can we can start this process in 30 seconds and go about our life for the next nine and a half months and it doesn't change our daily activities at all when you have a female racer this is a topic yeah. and, and something that is life-changing for them and their careers Prout also shared that she suffers from Hashimoto's thyroiditis, an autoimmune disorder that prevents her thyroid from producing enough hormones. She's unsure how her condition will affect her attempt to get pregnant. Parenthood is a new frontier for Tony Stewart, and as he jokingly puts it, he's more scared about starting a family than climbing into a top fuel dragster. You know, to watch Leah go through this process, and literally, we this was her decision. We we talked about it before. Uh, I had a really hard time distinguishing whether I was supposed to be in husband mode or car owner mode. I, I made it 30 seconds in husband mode and nine and a half minutes in car owner mode. And I realized at the end of 10 minutes, may not have to worry about it. I might get divorced. <laughs> but um, So I just, we, we kind of came to the conclusion that I told her it, it is her decision 100%. Whenever she wants to do this, I'm behind her 100% uh, and supportive. And But let's not forget. This is the same Tony Stewart who's always thrived on challenges from NASCAR to owning multiple racing teams and even co-founding the Superstar Racing Experience. I feel like Tony, there are tons of things that he's shown, but his composure is super solid. So oh, no doubt. Him being in an injected car, running all the supercharged cars, and I was like, you know, those drivers, some of them are kind of catching on to the way that he stages and he changed it up in the middle yeah. of the year and he got comfortable being first being last doing his own thing and i'm like this is this is it, that's what you need and when i set up on stage i'm like he's not he ain't getting rattled he's no. only getting rattled about the car doesn't perform and he can't do anything else <laughs> make it blow on the windshield go faster uh so yeah that composure standpoint now i am looking forward to when real things happen on the track but wait there's more to this racing saga this will mark Tony Stewart's second full season of drag racing. In 2023, he finished second in the NHRA Top Alcohol Division, showcasing that he's no stranger to the drag strip. However, transitioning to a top fuel dragster is a whole new ball game. 
From the season of uh, the top alcohol ranks, I mean, I, I started gaining confidence mid-season and uh, you know carried that through the end of the year. Now I'm going from having some confidence to being not very confident and being back at the bottom of the board again. So uh, it's it's just going to be a learning process. I mean, I think you're always nervous about the things that you don't know. Uh, this is going to be a very large learning experience. It's going to take time. Uh, it's literally about just making runs and making laps. And, and, you know, the more runs I can make, the more comfortable I'm going to get. Now, that's a goal we can all get behind. Stewart's acknowledges the learning curve, emphasizing that every switch to a new form of motorsport brings its own set of challenges. But hey, if there's one thing Tony Stewart knows, it's how to adapt and conquer. Let's talk about Stewart's achievements in the NHRA so far. After a full season in the top alcohol dragster class, he not only in respect but also secured two prestigious awards Person of the Year and Top Alcohol Driver of the Year. Quite the accolades for a rookie season. Stewart's venture into NHRA has brought a renewed sense of fun as he zooms over 200 miles an hour in less than six seconds, a stark contrast to the oval and road courses he's dominated throughout his career. I'm I was very happy and I was happy all year running the alcohol car. Loved racing with McPhillips family. Um, loved the competitors I was racing with on the alcohol side and, and I got the best of both worlds. I got to you know, run my car with the alcohol side, go up and watch my cars that I own and my wife and Matt run and uh, then go back to the alcohol team. So uh, I got all of it. I got everything I wanted last year, but uh, you know, this is a decision that you know you, you got to kind of factor some other variables in the equation. So uh, that's that's what we're doing. Switching gears a bit, let's talk about the business side of racing. All of these new developments might affect Stuart Haas Racing, the NASCAR team co-owned by Tony Stewart, as the team face setbacks with the retirement of Kevin Harvick and Eric Almirola. The team has already lost the sponsors and Heiser Busch and Hunt Brothers Pizza with the drivers, leaving Stuart Haas Racing with a challenging 2024 season. The team now faces the daunting task of fielding young and relatively inexperienced drivers. The pressure is on, and Stuart, the team owner, is navigating uncharted territory. As we wrap up this racing roller coaster, one thing is clear Tony Stewart's 2024 season is poised to be a thrilling chapter in his story career. From the drag strip to family planning and the challenges of team ownership, Stewart is proving that his racing journey is far from over. Well, what about this and what about that? And I go, there's always going to be a what about this. My mom always said, there's never the perfect right time to start a family. You just do it and you make it happen. So that's the plan we're on. And there you have it, racing enthusiasts. The unexpected twists, the personal decisions, and the adrenaline and pumping moments that make motorsports so electrifying. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Tony Stewart's racing soccer, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more thrilling content, and share your farts in the comments below. Until next time, this is NASCAR in and out on Essentialized Sports. Keep the pedal to the metal.